Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com. In this lesson, I'm going to prove to you why Crazy Talk Animator 3, actually 3.1, is the best animation software for YouTubers, for those who want to create an animated series for YouTube, okay? So the first thing you need to know to understand is you have to know what you want. So what do you want? You are going to create an animation. What do you want? You, do you want to create a series or what? Okay. Do you want to win awards? Or do you want to go viral? Let's take an example. Let's say, okay, I want to win awards. Okay. Have you heard of Volker and Alexander who created an animation called Broken, the Women's Prison at Honeck? Well... If you haven't heard of it, it's because this animation didn't go viral, but they got an award at Sundance Festival for Best Animated Short. That's a very, very difficult award to get, okay? I mean, it's Sundance Festival, right? So if you want to win awards, well, maybe Crazy Talk Animator is not for you. But what if you want to go viral? Have you heard of how it should have ended? Chances are you have. I've, if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you already know what, how it should have ended is. They have 6 million subscribers and they, in their channel, they have 1.6 billion views. That's insane. I mean, this animation didn't get high-end awards and at Sundance Festival, right? But they went viral. Now, don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean you don't get awards. In their case, they have won some awards. Not very high-end uh, like Cannes or Sundance Festival. But they had, they, they've got Streamy Awards for Best Animated Web Series, Scream Awards on Spike TV, and Webby Awards honoring the best of the internet. And so, if you want to go viral, if that's what you want, then Crazy Talk Animator is the best for you. Why? Well, let me tell you why. Because you do everything faster. Are you actually doing everything faster? No. The thing is, the team behind Crazy Talk Animator already took a lot of the hard work. They already did the design for you. So if you're starting an animation from zero, you have to create backgrounds, props, characters, and do the animation, right? And so that's, how the, that's the hard work. But what if you hired designers, right? Artists, sound engineers, and animators. What if you hired them and then you deliver and you just direct your idea? I want it like this and I want to this character to start walking at this moment, right? And so when you get Crazy Talk Animator 3, you get a lot of the hard work done for you. Let's do a comparison. How does this affect in your workflow process, how in the time you take. Let's compare. I'm going to compare a personal example. This is an animation available in our YouTube channel in 2D Animation 101. This animation is Justice Has Been Served and it's a little joke done in Moho Pro 12. And we recently created this little animation, Success Sucks by Easy and Fun Inc. And we did it in Crazy Talk Animator 3.1. Now, let's compare the time invested in both. In Justice Has Been Served, I used four images. It took me around six hours, right, to prepare, though, to produce those four images. Now, to prepare six characters, actually, there's only two characters, but because I have multiple angles, I have to rig each angle individually, right? So to prepare those six characters, it took me around six and a half hours. How do I know exactly how much time I used? Well, because I track my time. I use a little app called Toggle. You can go to toggle.com. Anyway, back to the lesson, uh, one minute of animation took me eight 
hours, 16 minutes, right? And how about let's compare it with how much time I invested in success sucks, right? <laughs> in here, the production was insane. We used 69 images, okay? A lot of the images were very simple, right? And it took me 8 hours, 24 minutes. Then preparing 12 characters, not 6, 12, that's double the characters. It took 3 hours, uh, almost 4 hours. Now for 4 minute animation, it, we invested almost 13 hours, okay? That's insane. Let me show you. Let, let's compare them uh, side by side. Producing each image, it took in average, uh, on average, one hour and a half, right? And preparing each character on average, it takes about one hour. And then for one minute of animation, it took eight hours uh, and 16 minutes, right? Now, in Chrissy Talk Animator, producing each image took me seven minutes. Insane. That's insane. Compare seven minutes with one and a half hour. I'll tell you how, how we achieved this. Then preparing each character took 19 minutes, right? And then for one minute of animation, three hours. This is crazy. How the heck can we shorten the time like this? Because in here, we did, actually, I did everything here to prove that uh, someone alone can do an animation. In here, I did everything. And in cra when I used Crazy Talk Animator, I had all the work. I took advantage of all the work made by the team at Revolution, the team behind Crazy Talk Animator, the designers, the animators. I took advantage of their work. Okay, so what I want you to get from this lesson is that when you open Crazy Talk Animator, you are stepping on the shoulders of other animators. In Crazy Talk Animator, you act as if you were the director. And so that's why the crazy drop in time. Now let's compare the total time. In, in total, using Moho Pro, I invested 11 hours per minute, right? Per minute of animation. And in Crazy Talk, check this out. Three hours, 40 minutes. That's three times faster. That's crazy. Why? Why is this happening? Well, again, because we are taking advantage of the previous work done by their designers, right? Now, do you, do you want even faster? Well, you can use the content provided. Now, uh, that means you don't create any characters. You use the characters they created for you. If you do that, you will animate 10 times faster. That's insane. You don't believe me? Let me prove it to you. Let's talk about animating a walk cycle. Let's say you have your character already rigged and designed and traced everything ready, right? You're going to animate a walk cycle. If you use another software, it takes around 30 minutes, right? Well, in Crazy Talk Animator, it takes three minutes. You don't believe me? Let me prove it to you. Okay, right now I'm here in Crazy Talk Animator. Look, I just import a character, super easy. And then I just put it in here, in this place. I'm on frame zero, on frame one I'm in. Then I go to animation, motion, G3 human, then elastic side, then move. And from here I just go down and select walk, Start. The S stands for start. Double click. Then he starts walking. Then let's do one loop. Second, third, fourth. And then he stops. And that's it, right? Now I have to move this character to the side. <laughs> well, very easy. Let me open the timeline. I'm going to show you how to do all of this. I'm going to explain in detail. But right now, I just want to prove to you how easy this is done. Let me find when he stops. He stops around there. Okay? 
move him from there to here. There you go. Okay, that was a little bit less than three minutes. It's insane. Less than three minutes. Okay, why does it take three minutes? This is the reason. Because you didn't do that animation. That animation was made by them. They did the animation for you. It's like you paid some animators to do the walk cycle for you. Okay, and you, you just click and drag, click and drag, and that's it. That's what's happening. That's why it's so crazily fast. But anyway, if you want to create original YouTube series, this is what's going to happen. That, that means you create your own content, okay? You are not going to use any of the content from them and you're going to be 100% original. Okay, this is what's going to happen. You're going to take time on your first episode, right? You're going to create all the characters, all the background, everything. And then, this is the magic. You're going to reuse all your content. What's going to happen? You are going to 10x your process on the next episode. This is crazy. Let me prove it to you. If you're doing 10 episodes and you're using other software, it will take uh, 10 hours. Let's, let's set an example. Uh, maybe our 30 second episodes, mini episodes of animations. 10 hours on the first episode, right? Creating everything. And then you invest six hours in the next episode and six hours on all the other episodes, right? And if you get 10 episodes, you will invest 64 hours, right? If you, <laughs> if you want to do the math, just do it. But in what I want you to focus on is when you use other software, 10 episodes can take you 64 hours, right? And if you are using Crazy Talk Animator with 100% original content, you will invest 10 hours on the first episode week because you're not using the animation done by them, right? You're using all your own animations. Everything, every movie is original. Well, you will invest 10 hours on the first episode, then one hour on each subsequent episode. That's a total of 19 hours for the 10 episodes. Crazy. This is crazy. Now, what is this? This is called smart work. Smart work means you take the hard work done previously and you reuse it, right? Let me give you a Disney example. If you go to YouTube and type, for example, Disney reused animation, you will find a lot of examples of animated scenes that are reused again and again. So this is nothing new. This was used decades ago. Robin Hood and Snow White, Robin Hood and the Jungle Book, okay? This is nothing new. The only difference is that in Crazy Talk Animator, you do it way faster. You do it 10 times faster. You just click and drag or double click and you have what you want. And you can reuse that animation on any other character. So again, my question is, what do you want? What do you want? Ask yourself, okay, what, what do I want? Do I want high-end awards or do I want to go viral? Okay, if you want high-end awards, well, maybe Crazy Talk Animator 3 is not for you, right? But if you want to go viral and you want to <laughs> pull one episode every two or three days, that's totally possible with Crazy Talk Animator because you create everything on the first episode and then on all the other episodes, you reuse the content, you reuse the same characters, you, you use everything again. So that's why if you want to do an animated series for YouTube, Crazy Talk Animator 3 is the best for that purpose, okay? Great. Now, in the next lesson, I'm going to talk about the requirements for an animated series, okay? See you in the next lesson.